Hey guys, Mr. How to Minecraft here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a five lever plus button combination lock for an iron door, piston door, anything. So pretty much the way it works is, this is like in your hidden fortress in SMP multiplayer. You click that, nothing happens. Nothing happens. The door won't open. But if you know the combination, which is customizable, you can choose whatever you want the combination to be. Then you click it, it opens up the door. If you have the right combination plus extra levers, it does not open up the door. Wrong combination does not open up the door. You have to have the perfect right combination. So anyway, how this works, I'm going to teach you guys how to build it in a second, is, um, so pretty much, this is the output block, this one goes out, um, to dis- okay, wait, 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 look, let's start here. This is the AND gate. Um, an AND gate, pretty much the way it works is it needs two inputs to be powered, so if this is powered, then this is powered, then the output will be powered. So pretty much one input is the levers, them working, and then another input is the button. When both of those are working, then it will output to power the door and open it up. So pretty much the way the levers work, this is the first half, the lever input is um, when they're all on, or when they're all in the off state, well, pretty much the redstone torch is inverted, so when you click the lever, it turns off the torch. And so pretty much, um, when you turn off all of the torches, then nothing will be powered, causing this inverter to emit power. But if anything is powered, like if the wrong one is powered, it emits power. If the right one is not powered, it emits power. One second. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, um... If the wrong one is on, then it emits power. If the right one is off, then it emits power. So only the right ones have to be on. And then when none of them is emitting power, so the proper ones are on and the proper ones are off, then it'll turn this input on. When this input is on, all you need to do is press this button. It'll power the second half, power the second half of the input, emitting the power to the door. So anyway, let's go on to building this. What you're going to need is five levers. You can make it however many levers you want. You just need to connect them all into the one line going into the inverter. So pretty much um, how it works. Let's go over here and do this. So you have to have spaces between the levers. So let's go like lever, space, lever, space, lever, space, lever. Is that five? One, two, three, four? No. Okay, there we go. You're going to want to have them too high. Now put your levers down. All right, now you're going to need to have two rows. Okay. Okay. You need to have two back here. Now, this is the part where you choose your combination. So, get out some redstone torches. And so, whatever ones you want to have to be on, like facing down, put a redstone torch beside it. So, if you want your combination to be the middle three, you put redstone torches behind the middle three. I'm going to make mine the first two and then the last one, alright? So, I put a redstone torch behind the last one, and I put a redstone torch behind the first two. So now, you put an output line on all of them, behind all of them, even the, the fake levers that, don't, that aren't um, part of your combination. So now, some are powered and some aren't. You're going to want to just bring them all down here. Connect them all into one big line into one output line. So everything is connected now. So now the way it works, for this line to be off, then the proper ones have to be powered. Once the proper ones are powered, then the whole line is off. But for now we're going to assume that the combination is wrong, and pretty much so. You're going to want to run this into an inverter. And an inverter, pretty much what it does is it inverts the signal. Since this is powered, the way that works, since it's powered because you have the wrong combination on, because there's no levers pressed. Since it's wrong, the redstone torches are emitting power. That's why these are powered, because the redstone torch power goes up back like that. But since there's the wrong combination, this is off. One second, I just have to sleep. Yes, I, I use too many items for um, inventory editing in-game. It's awesome. Uh, I'll, I'll just let me sleep here. I'm a peaceful, so it's all good. All right, so um, so now you have the first part done in the way that once the lev once all the proper levers are pressed down, 
then the output is going to be off. So, you're going to want to make an AND gate now. Just go over here a little bit. Um, you can make a lot of this underground, too. I'm making it so the redstone is not hidden at all. So pretty much how you make an AND gate, make three blocks, a redstone torch there, a redstone torch there. Those three redstone torches like that, and then a piece of redstone in the middle. This is important, so the output will be off unless both of the inputs are, are powered. So see? Now you can just wire this up to a button. One second, let me get an iron door. Okay, so look, we have an iron door here. Let's put it there. Get out of here. I don't know how I killed them in two hits, but whatever. Okay, um, so pretty much there you go, you have your iron door. And then let's put our button, let's say, right here. So now you're going to want to wire the output of the button. And the output of the button is going to need to go into this half. So the levers do this half, and then the button does this half. So when both of them are activated, the levers are all good, and then the button is activated, it's going to activate this output, which you can put into the iron door. You can put it in a better way, like... I'll show you. I'll actually do it. Um, uh, this might work. Nope, I'm not gonna. I need to have it like this. Okay, so pretty much now the way it works, it goes into the block that the door is on, and then so let's go do this. You can, you can cover this back up mostly too. You can't put this spot because it'll cut off the wiring. I don't know, there's much better ways that you can hide the redstone. I'm just showing you guys kind of the theory behind it. So, damn it, I fell. So when you power that, turns off the torch. Power that. I'm just full of fail today. Power that, turns off the torch. This, pretty much you need all the outputs to be off so that the main output for the levers can be on. So here the output's off, here the output's off, here the output is already off, and here the output is already off, and here the output's off. So now that all the outputs are off, this output can be on. This goes into the first half of the AND gate. Now the button activates the second half of the AND gate. If it doesn't want to work... Yeah, it's just the way that I wired this. Here, let's do this a better example. and it works. You can feed the redstone into the door anyway and pretty much this is not very good because then you just kinda walk into your redstone. You can make it so that all of this is hidden. You can move this AND gate like over here this way, make a little hallway. You can make it so that there is no redstone showing and it is just the levers, the button, the door, and then some kinda hallway behind it. But So yeah, that is how you make a five lever plus button combination lock. I'll use five levers in this. You can do many more levers. You can do however many levers you want. Just make sure and however many with the torches. So you could have a hundred levers and thirty-three of them need to be on. It doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that they all feed into the one main output here into an inverter. So yeah, that's how you guys make um, a lever plus button combination lock for a door. This can be pistons too. This can be anything. This this line right here, this is the main output. This can power anything. You can make that combination lock play a note block. That can be the whole point of it. Whatever. Alright, so, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you guys later.